हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कोर्स ऑन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एल्गोरिथम्स डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एल्गोरिथम्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एज दे फॉर्म द फंडामेंटल बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक ऑफ डेवलपिंग लॉजिकल सोल्यूशंस टू द प्रॉब्लम्स एज वेल एज क्रिएटिंग एफिशेंट प्रोग्राम which works optimally this course will cover important topics required for a thorough understanding of this subject developing a good understanding of data structure and algorithms required three things first you have to learn how the information is arranged in the memory second you should have familiarity with different algorithms for manipulating the information contained in the data structure and the last but not the least we should have an understanding of the performance characteristic of the data structure in this course we are covering all these three things such that we are able to get a thorough understanding of this subject okay so let's understand what is data structure data structure is a way of organizing data in a computer so that it can be used effectively the name data structure itself indicate that it helps in organizing the data in the memory depending on the organization of the element data structure are classified into two types linear data structure and non linear data structure linear data structure in linear data structures element are stored in sequential order but it is not compulsory to store all element sequentially so for some example are linked list stack queues and non linear data structure elements of non linear data structures are stored or accessed in a long non linear order example is trees and graphs let's understand what is algorithms an algorithm is the step by step instructions to solve any problem so now these are the topic list we are going to cover in the course let's have a quick introduction of these topics to set a context If it does not make sense right now don't worry we will go going to learn all this topic in much more details We will start with an array Basically an array is a collection of items stored at a contiguous memory locations After that we will learn recursion and backtracking recursion is a programming technique that allows the programmers to op express operation in terms of themselves if it is not making sense right now don't worry we will go into the detail about recursion and we will learn how recursion helps to solve problem using certain examples after that we will learn linked list a linked list is a dynamic data structure the number of node in a list is not fixed and can grow and shrink on demand after that we will learn stacks a stack is a container of object that are inserted and removed according to last in first out principle there are various application of this data structure like we use stack data structure 
to execute recursive program and other application is compiler syntax check for matching braces and other also there are various application of stacks we will learn queue in the queue data structure the first element is inserted from one end and the deletion of the existing element taking from place from other end the one end is called rear and other is end is called front this makes queue as a fifo data structure which means that element inserted first will be removed first there are many application of stack like in operating system for controlling access to shared system resources such as printers files disk and tapes thereafter we will learn about trees a trees data structure used to organize data in a tree format tree structuring of data makes insertion deletion and searching of data faster trees are one of the most useful data structure in computer science T tree data structure is used in the file system in your computer that is folder and fi all the files stored in tree format and we have already seen that tree is an example of non linear data structure graph graph is a fundamental data structure in the world of programming a graph abstract data type is a collection of node called vertices and connection between them called edges graphs are an example of non linear data structure google map is an example of graph where every vertices is a cities and edges are paths after that we will learn about searching searching is one of the core computer science algorithms basically searching is the process of finding an item from a collection of items as we know that today's computer stores a lot of informations and to retrieve the information we need highly efficient searching algorithms after that we will learn about sorting sorting is an algorithm that arrange element of a list in a certain order it may be ascending or descending sometimes sorting significantly reduces the complexity of the program there are also many important algorithms in computer science which help us to solve many problems we will cover all important algorithm in these topics like we will go and learn greedy algorithms after that we will also learn dynamic programming hashing heap and bit manipulation so let's understand why should we learn data structure and algorithms data structure and algorithms gives the ability to the programmer to write the most optimal solution for the given problem and with efficient code and the second we already know that data structure and algorithm helps to crack any coding interview of product based companies like google microsoft facebook etc so from now next lecture we will start with a simple data structure that is array 
we will start our next lecture with an array and the lecture is a, in a way that first we will go through the theory part of the data structure or algorithm and then also we will see how to implement that using a python programming language thank you everyone thank you